Check it out, man. Check it out now, man. I'm all for this Me Too campaign, but come on, man. Some of these stories, we like, you too? Really, nigga? Now, here's the thing, man. Y'all remember that chick that was suing Nelly uh, because Nelly supposedly raped her on a bus in a Walmart parking lot? Well, basically, listen, she was trying to press charges. The cops had arrested Nelly for suspicion of rape. They realized they couldn't find a fucking clue that he raped her. And basically that she was just on a bus popping that pussy for a rich nigga. Now, here's the thing. Because Nelly is doing what most people should do after you've been falsely accused of rape. He is suing the chick because of that, okay? Now, here's the thing. Nelly suing this chick for defamation of character. He's saying, basically, you accused me of being a rapist, and I ain't no rapist, which means now you got a public thinking I'm a rapist. Now they want to book me for certain shit. I'm losing money. I need some compensation from you. Now, the chick is turned around and said, hold up now, nigga. I'm going to sue you back. The chick is claiming that because Nelly has defended himself by saying that she's a liar and she does not believe she a liar, She's also suing Nelly back for defamation as well. Also suing him for sexual assault, which is a little bit puzzling because part of the reason her court case did not go forward or the case that the prosecutor was trying to pin on Nelly didn't go forward because she actually said she wasn't going to testify. However, in the money portion, the civil portion, she's filing a lawsuit because she wants that guap. Okay, now. She gave an account of what happened that night, a more in-detail account, and listen to this, and y'all tell me if y'all believe it. She said, man, she was working as a host in a Seattle nightclub, and Nelly performed there on October 6, 2017. She said she works there, but that night Nelly came through, she wasn't working. She was in the shortest dress. She had her titties propped up. She was just there chilling, having fun like she's allowed to be, okay? Now she says after the venue or after the concert... She starts kicking it with Nelly and his friends, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that neither. You used to work at a club or you work at a club and now it's after the concert. Nelly's still chilling there. You chilling with Nelly and his homies. Now, she says Nelly invited her to an after party. The after party is happening on the tour bus. She says she get in the SUV, go to the goddamn tour bus, and then she says that's where shit goes left, okay? She says basically Nelly looked at her and said, yo, check it out, ma, okay? I'm going to just beat my dick right here, and you can just sit right there, which already, I don't know who does type of shit like that. Yo, Nelly, what's going on? Nelly, if this part is true, what the fuck are you doing? Niggas just, like, beat their dicks in front of chicks, or y'all niggas don't got no lines or no smooth moves to actually, like, initiate foreplay. What the fuck? Now, again, she said she was looking at him like, what the fuck are you doing? But then she says Nelly start pressing up on her, Okay. She said she even tried to tell him, like, yo, listen, this is unprotected. You got to wear a condom. She said she was trying to make sure he didn't fuck her. However, Nelly supposedly just piped her the hell down, then threw off the goddamn bus and threw a $100 bill, a blue Benjamin, at her face. Now, apparently also told her bye-bye, okay? Now, she went to the hospital. There's a picture of her in the hospital. She said she called Uber. She also called 911. She said that they took her for medical treatment and also a rape kit and blah, 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 blah. She said she would have never sued if Nelly did not begin a smear campaign on her. And I'm going to tell y'all, man, I don't know what to believe. I'm not going to sit here and say she's a liar. Y'all could make your decision in the comment section. But all I'm going to say is why not help or participate in the criminal case, however, you're filing a civil case. Keep in mind, if you were successful in proving Nelly was a rapist in the criminal case, basically Nelly will go to jail. If you're actually successful in proving he's a rapist in the civil case, basically all you do is get a couple of M's. What is more important, that the rapist go to jail if he did rape somebody, or you get a couple M's. It's looking funny in the light, but I'm going to leave it up to y'all. Y'all can make your own decisions or own judgments about this case. Uh, it's very unfortunate that this even went down. And this is one of the reasons. I'm hoping no alcohol was involved at all because, listen, alcohol could fuck all types of shit up, especially if Nelly was drunk. You will never know, okay? And when I mean you never know, it will then make people's testimonies not really credible because they're going to point at you and say you were drunk. Okay, it could be Nelly, could be the chick, or whoever, all right? Hopefully this gets uh, solved, and hopefully we find out the truth if this really went down as we're hearing it did. Because Nelly says, fuck no, and I'm going to get you in court to make you admit it 
on the road. Get in the car, Moxie. Guys, like this, subscribe to Academics. Come on.